Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits, where fall is upon us. What better way to celebrate fall than a casserole? Smoked broccoli and cheese with a little bit of rice casserole. It came out absolutely fantastic. You guys want to see how we killed it? Here we go. All right, before we start seasoning up our bird, we need to get our grill started. Today we're using a Pit Boss Titan. Super excited. We're going to change that smoke mode a little bit, try to up that flavor. First things first, we're going to load our smoker up with a smoking pecan pellet. All right, we have about a six and a half pound bird. I'm just gonna dry it out a little bit. Just take a little oil for a binder. I've been doing this lately. I think it just helps crisp up that skin. Use a little shake that, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Oil the top. Get inside the armpits. Same thing, season all sides. Is something on me? How do you just smell something? That's the same reaction I get when I touch you. That is the same reaction. Honey, it felt like a giant, giant. Bug. It was. Don't Did don't you move. See it? No, oh, would you stop? It's in your shirt. No, it's not. <laughs> God. That's definitely standing That was there. scary. <laughs> Life flash before your eyes. Yeah. Along with that whole chicken, we got three chicken breasts. Same idea, oil and season. Honestly, didn't know how much chicken to use. I did want to make a big thing of casserole because not only do we like it, uh, we're going to give it to some friends down the road, and I know they're looking forward to it. So I would much rather have more meat and more vegetables in my casserole than I would rice. So that's why we're doing a little bit more chicken. If you want to do a whole nother chicken, you can. Typically chicken breasts, kind of like your go-to when it comes to this. Obviously one thing of caution, you just want to make sure you don't overcook your chicken breast on this point. Because if you do, you want to put it back in there, cook it again, and then you will have overcooked chicken. That's a no-no. All right, I've been playing around with these for like several months with their Chef Temp wireless thermometers. We got a long one and two short ones. I'm going to put the long one uh, right here so I can keep constant temperature of what we got going on. And these short ones right here in the fat part of the chicken. Because I told you it's very important to know your temperatures while you're cooking it. Just like that. So we've done several tests with this pit boss and we always feel like it runs just a little bit light on smoke. So I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to go to P settings and we're going to change the smoke mode. All the way as high as it goes. So P7 which hopefully produces more smoke. All right, tell you right now, if you change that piece setting, good lord, this thing's a smoker. We'll have to do a test. That's a lot of smoke. With one, with like one P number and another P number to see like how much difference it makes. We're rocking about a god, wait, about 165 degrees. That's fine with me because it'll carry over to cook. Chicken still rocking and rolling. Got a block of cream cheese. We'll put that on there. <laughs> That's a lot of smoke. Alrighty, about two hours and 15 minutes later, I've had the cream cheese on there for about an hour. We're gonna take that off. It's got plenty of smoke flavor. Bird's looking real good. I want to go ahead and turn up the temperature to about 
325, 350 to push to the very end. Alrighty, our chicken is coming up to temp nicely. Uh, it's got a little skillet out here, it's got a little oil, uh, not much. And basically what we're looking to do is cut three heads of broccoli up. I'll show you a little florette right here. So basically I'm just gonna just eyeball it. Save this for soups if you want to. Looking for bite-sized pieces. So I just like to work around the head of broccoli. That looks good to me. And we're just gonna saute these to about, I don't know, 50%. You don't want them overcooked, I can tell you that. But you don't want them raw either, because they're not gonna be on the smoker that long once it goes in the casserole. So, depending on how you like your broccoli, depends on how much you want to cook it now. Alrighty. Our broccoli has been kind of like steamed slash cooked. You see right here, it's not cooked all the way through. Beautiful color on that broccoli. That is what we're looking for. One large onion, small dice. Roughly a large tablespoon of butter, give or take. You're just adding flavor. It's not really going to matter. When your onions look like something like this, you should be good to go. Tender, buttery, perfect. No salt and pepper yet. We have eight ounces smoked Gouda, eight ounces extra sharp cheddar, and eight ounces of seriously sharp cheddar. Grate all those up and combine them. And just like that, our chicken is done. Obviously, we need to let it rest before we pull it. Ooh, that looks good. That is my all-time favorite piece right there. Just to show you how crispy it is. That thing is juicy. So do we know about how long it was at the higher temp? Oh geez, we'll have to look at our thingamajigger. I don't. But if you're thinking about just doing chicken on a smoker, this is the way to do it. Keep it low and slow. Allow that smoke to adhere. Crank up that temperature at the end. I mean, that dang chicken wing right there is. Mm. And now simply enough, just take as much meat as you can off the chicken, shred it, pull it, whatever you need to do. The chicken's done, the onions are done, the broccoli's done, the rice, we got day old rice, kind of like the idea of fried rice. You just cook it the day before, let it cool down so you don't overcook it. And now it's casserole time. So basically the idea is the dump method. So we got broccoli in there, minus what my kids are gonna eat for dinner. I'm gonna use about half the amount of cheese because we're gonna put the cheese on top. So about how much cheese is that? Well, that's the three blocks that I did. So half of the three blocks. One and a half. Good. I'll tell you what. So about 12 ounces. You're getting better, honey. Let's see. We got the rice. All right. Looking at about two cups of cooked rice. We got all that chicken. Remember, that's uh, this right. I like to do heavy on the chicken, but this is two chicken breasts. One of them went to the kids. And obviously that one whole chicken that we got uh, shredded up, the one block of cream cheese, smoked roughly an hour, onions and butter. Two cans of cream of chicken soup. And of course, mirroring those flavors that we put on the chicken, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Give this a mix, work it all in. Seems like in the South, no casserole is complete without one of the two or even both. So roughly about a quarter to about a third cup of sour cream. And we're looking at about a half a cup of that Southern Gold. Whichever one you like, you do you. About right there. Obviously you wanna taste as you go. You're looking for a good creaminess and we're not done yet. We got one more ingredient to add. That's why I added this at the end. Along with the Southern Gold, your grocery store is gonna start popping this stuff out everywhere. Fall is upon us, casseroles are here. 
and that stuffing is going to be in everything. So I'm just going to add a little bit. I like the mix on the inside. Kind of seizes everything up along with adding just a little bit of flavor throughout the casserole. We'll save some for the top. I don't want to go heavy. I don't want to go too heavy with it, but I like it mixed up in it. Like anything, when you taste and you think it needs something more or something else, go in to add it. So we're going to add the rest of the cheese to the mixture because I like mine cheesy. We can figure out the top later. Whatever size of casserole dish you think you need, go ahead and go for it. Thin, thick, big, little. Just give it a butter bath and then spoon this stuff out. I was going to make a lot because, like I said, I got some other people that are interested in it. So I want to make them some. So I know this seems like a lot. Obviously, you can just cut down the portions. For my people always asking about healthier recipes, just to be brutally honest, and we do this probably 95% of the time, we would substitute the rice for cauliflower rice, and we make it like this all the time. We might omit some of the ingredients like cream of chicken just to make it a little bit healthier, but we definitely do the mayonnaise, the sour cream, the cheeses, you name it. Do you think you could freeze it before you bake it? See why not? Everything's already cooked. I definitely, if you were going to cook it when it comes out of the freezer, you gotta make sure it thaws out. You definitely don't want to cook this from frozen. All right, just for the topping, I like to like to do a little dusting. Just give it like a little Christmas. I typically don't go too heavy with the stuffing, but I like it, and I got a little extra something for it today. Had these in the pantry, and I thought, oh. Little spice, little crunch, little heat, just like that. Pit Boss is still hovering at 350. We're just going to put this on here and cook until it's done and bubbly. Got myself a little to-go container, and we're just going to spread this out on the refrigerator overnight. Cover it in plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator tomorrow. Let it come out of the refrigerator, maybe an hour, hour and a half, as much as you can. Uh, throw it in the oven uh, and right before we throw it in the oven, we'll go ahead and top it like we did the other one and then it'll be good to go. And just like that, our cheesy, bubbly chicken broccoli and rice casserole is done. Obviously you gotta let it cool. That thing is piping hot. All right, we let it cool. Uh, it was on the smoker roughly 50 minutes. Um, if there's one advice I can give you, I've always loved to teach people, especially with the holidays coming up, casseroles, yada, yada. Don't make it and think of times. Don't say, hey, I know for a fact we'll be done at 30 minutes at uh, 3.50. Thermometer, thermometer, thermometer. It doesn't matter if you get this one. Uh, I prefer the chef temp, um, but you name it. The point is, is you've got to get the internal temperature. So when you're dealing with leftovers and stuff like that, there's a thing called food danger zone. You guys can check that out. I let mine go to about 160 degrees. That's me uh, for leftovers and stuff like that. So anyways, so that's just a point of emphasis. All right, here we go. You want the edges? The set? I got. Oh, I'm always an edge guy. I like the cheesy. We're not going to embarrass myself with what kind of portion I'm going to eat a little bit later. <laughs> I got some of those leftover Pepper's Farm brioche dinner rolls in the toaster right now. A little warming up that we use on those sliders. I like a little hot salsa on. Mm -mm -mm. I've eaten hotter. <laughs> a little crispy topping. Mm. What was that? Mm. <laughs> it is so dang good. Perfect for the fall. If you guys want to speed the cooking time up, obviously you can take a rotisserie chicken, but if we're dealing with mm. smokers, you might as well go and take time to smoke it. Mm. Smoking the cream cheese. Golly. Bugs want some. New batch of flies. They're smaller. 
Um, <laughs> smoking the cream cheese, mm. I think goes a long way. Using the smoked Gouda, just little tips along the way mm. to get a little bit more flavor in there. That is good. Mm, it's creamy. Mm -hmm. I'm getting lucky tonight. <laughs> I like the little topping on top. I like the little pepper farm mm. stuffing on top. And I like the jalapenos because I like the spice. Mm -hmm. And you I really like, can't taste I it. Do. I like it too. Yeah. That's fantastic. I even like it with the Cholula like that. Oh, I can't wait. A little mm. butter on the dinner roll. A little side salad. Perfect for me. All right, guys. You know what to do. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace. Mm. Now from so you have this, <laughs> and I'm just gonna eat this just like that. <laughs> that is really good, babe. That's good. Ooh, that cheese gets on the bottom and gets crunchy. Ooh, give me that bite. <laughs>